In this video, I play a three-man $10 match against two subscribers and friends at Panclan Golf Course in Yangon, Myanmar. We played a new game to me, which I think is quite fun. I think it's called Split Sixes, made for three-man match plays, and it works like this. Every hole is worth six points. The golfer with the best score on the hole gets four points. The middle score gets two points. The highest score gets squat. If two players tie for the lowest score, they split it three points each. The third guy gets none. If one player gets the low score and the other two tie for the high score, the winner gets four and the two tied for the high score get one point each. If all three golfers tie, then everyone gets two points. The scores handed out at the end of a hole must equal a total of six. Sounds complicated, but not really. You'll get the hang of it. In this match, we have Verdant from India of a five handicap, the hype man from the US playing to an eight handicap, but playing with a broken thumb. And yours truly, the player in chief from Utenhaag with a handicap of 10 flights in six days. I am on a mission in 2020 to meet and play with more and more players. Hole one at Pan Hleng is just what I like in an opening hole. It's tame and allows for a fun start to the round. Sure. Yeah, if you get a, if you take a stroke on this hole, you can suck the ball. Oh, he's come to play. He has come to play. Yes, you can come to play. It's in the water. Shit, shit. No, it's not in the water. There's. Huh? Uh, I think so. 50 50. Is it water there? <laughs> oh, dude, I thought it was going to fade anyway. If it faded, that would have been perfect. I'm going to run out of golf balls, yeah. I played with Verdant the last trip at Pan Klang, where I was so impressed by his iron play. He knows how to jam and is a tough man to beat. The Gary Player course at Pan Klang was in winter, non-monsoon condition, and there was not a blade of grass out of place. The greens were as true as ever, and the track was as tough as I remembered. There are maybe three easy holes on this golf course, and I still haven't found them. That's a bloody good shot. Well, he's got a chance there. Of course, on this putt, I said, I'm not going to three putt from here. I always say we should state things in the positive, so I should have said, I'm going to two putt. Oh. But. Yep. In a match play situation, you have to beat the other guys, but really, the only thing inside our control is getting the ball in the hole in as few strokes as possible. We can't control the other dude's games. The tough part of a three-man match is watching one guy chopping weeds makes you forget there is a third player, so you have to stay on top of things. My strategy to demolish these players was just to score as low as possible by not hitting the driver. If I hit driver on this nine, I would lose. The first nine proved that. I think I was about nine over par on that side. Only got in at 11 o'clock, woke up at 5 a.m. to play. And now we're gonna do a match play. These guys think I'm down and out, but they don't know I have another level. It's called the coffee level. We've got 226, we're hitting four iron here. One more cup of coffee and these guys are dead. In match play games, handicaps will help to even the playing field. The hype man gets two strokes on this nine, which means on two holes, he can score one more than us and still halve the hole. On this hole, the hype man receives one stroke, so if he scores one more than us, he halves the hole. If he scores the same score as us, he wins it. With Verdant in the middle of the fairway, far down, and me with a silly distance into a tricky green, the best I could hope for was a lucky par. 
I know I can lose a hole or two, but we can't let one guy run away with too many four-pointers. Miss! 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 Of course, here I have an advantage. The green is clover shaped and has bunkering and mounds in all the right places. It's also a mega 194 yards long. Verdant has a 5 iron, the hype man has a 3 wood and I'm going to hit a 7 iron. That added height makes it easier to stop on these slick firm greens. Avoid being intimidated though players, Didi would hit a 5 wood here and get it up and down for a par. In match play, if someone beats you when you make a par, they deserve it. Wow, look at that thing come down. It's going to stay on. Still going. <laughs> what a player. What a roller coaster. Jeez. Yeah, man, I can. I just can't see breaks. That is unbelievable talent. That. <laughs> Luckily, we gave it to you. <laughs> What's that? Two, four, and a three. Back in the game now, bro. Let's go for it. Okay, we're on the board and ready to oh, rock out with our cock out. Beauty. I've hardly with ever won a match play too. leading from the front. They I usually have to come from well. behind, cracking skulls, stomping ass. This par five gives me the boo boo jibbies. The water on the right oh, is such a magnet for golf balls. Right I have no doubt my driver would end up there, and I reckon I can get to the green with two solid two irons anyway. Five short on the 10th fairway, first hole. And uh, so I'm walking up on the right, walking to my ball, and I figured, okay, he's just gonna pipe a wedge up to the front of the water, <laughs> lay up. Man says, no, I'm gonna take a three wood, go and cross the water. Yeah. I see him, I said, okay, I'll just move to the right a little bit. Takes a three wood, shanks it right into my ass. Right, straight into the muscle. I mean, <laughs> direct shot, 500 points. And, uh, you know, it was like Forrest Gump. Something jumped up and bit me. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, were, you, were you even facing him? No, I oh, was walking dude. away, and I, I just, I thought, I thought I got shot by a sniper. <laughs> I mean. Verdant and the hype man are in good positions. I have a shot here, but I think I need to keep it left of the green so I can open it up for an easy pitch shot. Par fives are always tough in match play in a three or four man match. Someone always makes a birdie. There is no option. It must be me.
Oh, good contact. Good contact though. Nice shot. Good shot. The hype man just hit it out the bunker to Val. Don't know what he's lying. Oh boy. Good touch, good touch. Oh. Mm, Got that part. Yeah. It was around this hole that I started to feel tired from all the traveling, but that's no excuse. The par four fifth hole is no joke. It's long and with the dog leg left, Gary Player tricks you into thinking it's way tighter than it is. It's a standard two iron ripper for me, but Verdun smashed a driver like a beast. With his iron play, Good I know he can stick anything there. to three I or four feet. Away. This guy can turn on the Jedi in an Sit instant. Down, right into the yeah, that's good shot. What a foul! Tough, tough, tough. Uh, we're holding it up. Oh boy! What a shot! Oh dude! <laughs> that, that was sick! Oh, that's good! Stay there! G-O-T-G! Oh, oh it's drawing right at it. Oh, get up there, get up there. Get up there, get up there, get up there. What a player! Come on, what a player. Yeah, babe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that was no. so bad. Oh, no. That was made you, you were so confused. That was a first. Nice. 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 What a two car. 167. 167. What are you hitting? Uh, baby Niner. No, five <laughs> up. Come on. <laughs> Carry it. Oh. Ah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. dry. Oh. Should carry on the green, huh? Yep. Wow. Oh, baby draw. Double draws. Left to the bunker. Oh, easy peasy. Chipping a putt. I'm scared of that bloody fade now. Should change it from the hype man to the sand man. He's in the bunker on every hole. Whoa, man, what a shot!
baby. What an up and down. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, what an up and down. Beast. If I can scrape together a four-pointer and a two-pointer somewhere, I'll be gold. Verdant never wakes up this early. The hype man has a broken thumb. I've been in six countries in less than 10 days. We are wary soldiers. Something always happens on a par five and I'm thinking, it's birdie time here. Two iron, lay up and a wedge for the bird skeeto. What a bounce. That's going to have so much spin on it, it's gonzo's. That was perfect. Beauty. That's going to move. It's going to move. That's the shot. That's the shot. Little layup ski. Bird ski coming up ski. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> You know what? That was shaping really good as well. That was almost. Yes, uh, okay. Oh, that's Ooh, a beast. Go. Wow. go, 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 wow. go. Bunker. Such a nice shape. Oh boy, that's no, a shot. No, that's a no. No, that's, that's good. Oh, get in the hole. Go, ball, go, go. Gotta go. Oh, short. Oh, tasty. Tasty. Wow. That's the one. That's the one. Not another one in short. Damn. A little rush of blood to the oh head, and that hands the hole that, to the hype man for a second four-pointer in a row. The breaker of thumbs, the man of hype, and the holder of the ugliest swing in Yangon takes a commanding, decisive lead. What a bounce! Short par fours are a lottery, That's and bogeys really will always shot. lose holes in match play oh, against similar handicapped uh... players. I know the two iron will set up a wedge, nine or eight iron into the green, depending on the angle. I could hit a driver and go way right and still have a lob wedge in, but two iron it is. There's no choice, players. We need birdie here if we are to come out on top. These two gangsters are putting the hammer down. Oh boy, nice what a shot. That's your best player. Oh, what a kick. How do you, how do you even do that on a flat, on a flat piece of ground? Come on, what is that? <laughs> how does that happen? What did you have into the green from here? It was 196 to the pin. 196. I wanted to actually go long. Oh, that's pretty pure. Oh, oh toughy, toughy. That might be off. Might. Oh. oh, a little wind shot. A little balloonish. That's okay. You're babe. okay there. You're on the green, actually. That's fine. What did you hit there? Seven. That's a tasty one. Yeah, good. Good putt. Good putt. Good putt. Nice.
Yes, good call. Well done, good putt, sir. What's up, Parsky? Parsky. Last one in Fun Lang last game. On the last hole, I need to tie for the high score. That's a nice place to be. So it's a two iron and I know no one is making more than a five. So we need to still concentrate and get it in the hole in five or less. A par would be optimal. Ooh! Nice one. Take it. Disgusting. The swing or the result? <laughs> the whole lot of this. Come on, come back. Come I assume back. Bangkok's a lot nicer than JB. No, not for me. I'm a quiet person. Come on, man. Spin back. Oh, what is that? Wrong club, Caddy. Come on. Get up. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Yes, player. That wasn't going to be good enough. We needed a bird. He's going to make this. Got that. In the end, a fun game and great company. The people who follow this channel and that I meet in person are always champions. Let's hope we can get more and more subscriber players on the channel in 2020. Less me, more you. And I always love seeing these guys and the great group of players in the Sparrows Golf Society at What A Golf Course. If you can play well here, and if this type of course was your home course, you'd be well prepared to play any course out there.